Olive Branch. Maple Leaf. How is it going? It's been a bit. It has. I mean, we've been uh, we've been busy with our own lives and our own games, and now you're playing some Animal Crossing for us today. I'm playing Animal Crossing. It's a it's a pretty good game, actually. Like legit, I have been playing Animal Crossing a little bit. I've made up a new town. I've gotten everything going. But that's not what we're here for. No. Uh, not too. No. Not not today. Not too long ago. Uh, there was a Nintendo Direct that revealed a very interesting game. Actually, I think it was during E3, if I remember right. Uh, they revealed a number of really interesting games Nintendo did, and two of them, actually, were Metroid. That's or a lot. Metroid. Yep. Actually, that is a lot, especially for Metroid. One of them was called Metroid Prime 4. Yes. But, uh, but that's not what we're here today to talk about. Uh, today, we're actually here to talk about another Metroid game called... Oops. Samus Returns. Samus Returns. The thing about Metroid Samus Returns, um, what do you remember about AM2R? That it was really good. It was a really good Metroid game. Hmm. Uh, If you remember right, AM2R, it was DMCA'd a day after it was released. And uh, it turns out that this is why, because Nintendo was working on their own remake of Metroid 2. And really? And they called it Samus Returns. Yep, this is it. This that was is the reason. It wasn't own... It wasn't a whole IP thing. I mean, besides that, it was also because it's like, no, I... you're taking away well, our thunder. Obviously it, obviously, it was an IP thing, of course. Like, they do need to protect their intellectual properties. But uh, yeah, actually, they were creating their own uh, remake of Metroid 2. And here it is. Samus nice. Returns. It was, re- it was released last Friday. Friday, I believe, which would be today's the 19th. Uh, as of this recording, it's early morning, 1 a.m. 17th? The, what, whatever. It's the 16th, the point I is think. It was, <laughs> the, the point is it was released in September on a Friday. 15th. The 15th of September. Yeah. Anyway. The Samus Returns. Let's the go. 15th. I want to see what yeah, it's like. I want to see what it's like. Uh, before we get started, I just have one stipulation. Uh, you know how at the end of our co-op LPs, I ask you about the game, what you thought about it, how you enjoyed it. Uh huh. I'm going. I'm going to do the same at the end of Metroid: Samus Returns. The thing is, I want you to deliberately compare everything about this game to AM2R. Have you played this at all? No. Wow. Okay. I haven't even turned it on. Okay. I like. I unboxed it five minutes before I called you. Okay. All right, let's do this then. Let's compare. I mean, let's be fair though. AM2R and Samus Returns. I mean, I've seen some video footage of Samus Returns. Really different vibe. With that whole was it Aeon power or whatever that Samus can use? Yeah, something like that. But, you know, the whole point of my stipulation here is that uh, Nintendo shut down AM2R because they didn't want their toes being stepped on by something that could be conceived uh Something that could be considered superior to their product. Uh huh. So this is this is it. This is their attempt. This is what they are doing to prove to uh, their market that they are the number ones at their, creating their own IP. You know, uh, Sonic Mania came out not too long ago, and it was considered fucking fantastic, and it's generally considered a fan game. Yeah. Because it wasn't made by Sonic. It wasn't made by Sonic. Yeah, which is why I was going to draw comparison immediately to say, like, I hope they hired that guy to, like, Samus Returns, like, hey, that actually is really good. How about you come over here and swing by with your CV and whatever, and we'll see what you can do with this game. Right. So that's why I'm making this stipulation. I want you to make those direct comparisons because, you know, Okay, right on. Sega, uh, they owned up and they said, you know what, maybe we can't do it, maybe you can. And Nintendo is deliberately saying, you can't, and we are forcing you not to, because we can do it, and we can do better. I mean, like, aside from all the legal shit, of course. (laughs) Right off the bat, though, this is good music. Yeah, well, they know know it makes Metroid Metroid, and that's half half of it's the music, for sure. Uh, That reminds me. (laughs) Well, that reminds me, actually. Uh, This game was directed by Sakamoto. Oh, okay. Yoshio Sakamoto. Let's hope he learned. The man behind... Let's hope he learned. The man behind Other M. The black sheep of the family. Even com- even knowing that Federation Force exists, Other M is still probably the blackest spot on the, on the Metroid franchise. For a different reason, I'd say. I mean, Metroid Federa- Federation Force is a travesty. It's not even a Metroid game, but Other M was... Oh, no. 
Oh no. My other M. The pop, <laughs> okay, the problem is that other M is that 100% canon. And Federation Force, like, it could be just construed as a. It's canon. I, I suppose. It, it's fucking canon. It is canon. You could say that. But, you know, you could make the argument that it's just a spin off. But, this is made by the man that made other M. We'll see if he's figured something out. Huh. In the year 20X5. Wait, was it. Was it just 20XX in the original? I don't... I can't remember. I don't, think, I don't think they dated it in the original at all. And also, 20X5 is not that far away. Well, I would say maybe it's like they, they count it differently, you know? Maybe it's like the 20 times 5, you know? It's like a... <laughs> <laughs> also, to be fair, Cosmic Calendar is different from... What's the calendar ours is called? The Gregorian Calendar? Uh, the Gre No, I think it's... Isn't it the Julian Calendar? Something like that. Whatever. Gregor I think it's Gregorian... Whatever. Anyway. Ooh. That is pretty. That's a... What the fuck are those things? Oh, space pirate ships? Metroids? I mean, what the fuck is a Metroid they're, they're anymore? They're not Metroids. What, uh, like, what the fuck? <laughs> those are, those are, uh, those are just, I think, space fire ships. Yeah, it's just says here, space fire ships. But they look weird as hell. Uh-oh. The attack was no coincidence. Then replicate the sample and exploit its ability to absorb the energy of any life form. Technically, they, Metroids are a weapon, it's just that they were used to destroy X, right? Or at least, that's what they were originally were made for. They were originally created by the Chozo in order to counter the X-Parasite, yes. However, you know, it just so happens that they counter literally everything in the universe. <laughs> Except ice, apparently. Yeah. Yes. To counter this entire Samus. race's infiltration to uh, capture an entire species and use them as bioweapons, they are sending in a single woman. Just... Just one second. Look at the Samus' ship on this picture. It looks really different. It looks like a UFO with two wings coming it out of it. It friggin' changes every single game. Don't worry about it. Against all odds. Yeah, well, you don't know Samus. <laughs> <laughs> Samus makes her own odds, damn it. <laughs> well, if you really think... I will say this. Yeah? If you really think about it, like, all the odds were stacked against her. She had to go against Ridley and Craig. She had to infiltrate an entire planet. She had to shoot this bitch in the eye. I will say this, I like the artwork, except that uh, I think I like the pixelated AM2R look better, you know? That Metroid's on fire. Yeah. That's a, a that Metroid next to Samus is frozen. Yep. And one is like sucking up on her arm, I mean, were the Metroids really attacking Samus in, in Metroid 1? Oh yeah, once she got to Torian, Metroids were everywhere. Uh, okay. Mounted another expedition to SR388. Yeah, because, you know, sending a research team on a planet con you know, full of hostile life forms alone without a. I mean, did they send us. Oh, there they are. Okay. The Federation Force. Really? <laughs> we already know that they're shit. <laughs> Galactic Federation Police. And technically speaking, uh, we know for a fact from Federation Force that they are uncontestably the most powerful force in the universe. Unfortunately. <laughs> More than Samus, even. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is true. Samus was captured, spoilers, but... She was captured and detained. And she needed some grunts from the Force to break her out. I wonder why they couldn't just... You know, I know I know they're trying to say, like, Hey, you know, Metroids are kind of dangerous. We should probably... But I don't think the, the, the ethical view would be, Let's exterminate them all. You know, you think the science team would be like, maybe they play a vital role in the ecosystem and the military is like, fuck no. Nuke it from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. <laughs> well, actually, it does bring up an interesting, you know, uh, thought argument, I guess. Um, would it be would it be better to just leave this, the Metroids well enough alone on SR388 and continue to do their thing eradicating the X? Or do you want to just kill them all and blow up the entire planet? Better safe than sorry. Well, I mean, I was going to say, they don't know about the axe at this point, and I think the Federation Force is more worried about the potential of more exploitation from pirate gangs and shit, mm. but at the same time, it's like, hey, uh, you know, we could always just put a bunch of stations around this planet and keep a watchful eye for pirates, and if they cause shit, call in Samus, you know? Yeah. But I'm guessing the, the council here is full of politics and be like, these, these Metroids are, are, we have to build a wall. We have to destroy them. <laughs> 
Uh, the number one enemy in, in uh, the Metroid series is the bureaucracy. Ooh, that's a badass shot. Yeah, that's Samus being like, you got it, Cap. You got it, fam. I'm gonna destroy the shit out of those Metroids like you don't even know. We must exterminate the Metroids once and for all. You know, it's kind of was another thought experiment of like, we know Samus is like cold hearted, not really cold hearted, but she's she's very professional. Mm. But, you know, it's like you tell her, hey, you're basically going on a bug hunt, De you know, destroy this entire species, and she's cool with it. She's cool with extermination and extinction, I guess. I mean, until I guess she finds out they're capable of love or something. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, she does hesitate at the very end of this game uh, when she finds the baby. And she directly defies orders to save it. Yeah, but then she's like, hey, you know, we could actually use this for good. And then it's like she overcomes the whole bureaucracy basically on her word. I mean, unless the rogue scientists were like, yeah, yeah, we could use that as a... We could use them as an energy source. Who knows? But, mm. you know, it takes Samus to actually bring one back alive and be like, this is the last one. So, uh, good luck with that, you know? <laughs> yeah. She takes the last one and says, you know what? Took one for the road. Liking these graphics so far, though. They're neat. So far. Here's Samus. There she is. In all her 3D glory. So, uh, I'm told that this game has uh, amiibo functionality. I do not own any amiibos, and my modded 3DS is an old school 3DS, so it doesn't have uh, amiibo functionality out the gate anyway. But one of the functions that the amiibo can do is they can unlock something called fusion mode, and they huh. it's basic it's basically hard mode, or mm. rather there's a there's a hard mode in the game and fusion mode is nightmare mode. Oh, okay. And and they change her suit to be her Metroid fusion suit, and they change her ship to be the Metroid fusion ship. Okay, that's neat. I mean, it kind of sucks that they're getting it behind a, an amiibo and all that, but you know, if you're just gonna play the game for the hell of it, that's one thing. Unfortunately, we're not going to be doing any of the amiibo shit. Yeah, well, but you know. Cost money. Alright, so I can wall jump. Yeah, you can wall jump straight off the, ba the gate. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a 100% playthrough of this. It honestly depends on how the game goes. Uh, you know, like we opened up AM2R saying uh, we're probably not going to be doing a... 100%? 100%. Yeah, and then we just kind of did it just because... Uh, we'll, just, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. No promises, but that's it's not the goal, but no promises. Like, things uh, she can eh, She can climb. I mean, she has the power glove. She has the power grip. Power grip, yeah. Huh? Uh, What's she that? can look. Huh? Can you shoot from that angle? I, I suppose you can. Huh? <laughs> oh, I... She can aim. You can free aim. That's neat. If I hold the L button, I can free aim, apparently. Wow, she can fire all around her. That's pretty. That's pretty neat. That's a level of mobility you didn't have before. That's a. Pl I think that's a bonus on AM2R. But AM2R did have enemies designed to fire in like three planes, you know, or three directions. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how we'll see how Samus Returns handles free floating Metroids flying all around your ass. AM2R, uh, you f you could shoot in eight directions in AM2R, and I gotta ask like. The fact that you can free aim is pretty cool of this game, but is that really such a huge point in its favor? Like, how many more directions do I honestly need? Like, here's this one, and here's this one. Like, what's the huge difference between here, right? Hitboxes, or at least, man. Or, Shave uh, off suppose, those hitboxes. I suppose so. I mean, like, we'll see how it comes up. What other buttons do I have? Oh, that's the counter. You can punch people now with your big spike, or your bigger cannon. My big-ass cannon, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And the A button doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe it's gonna unlock missiles or whatever. Maybe. Uh, oh, oh hey, already the the fawn of the life is greeting you. <laughs> Hold R and press Y to fire missiles. Got it. Oh, and you have 24 of them. Not well, 23 now. Okay. Wait. Hold oh, R. okay. Yeah. Okay. You fire. Uh, okay. You can fire free fire missiles and shit. There you go. Ow. <laughs> Uh, duck, dude. Duck and shoot. Duck and shoot. There you go. There we go. Oh, that nice counter. Wow. Well, that was that was uh, one of the game's like features that was promised is that if an enemy comes charging at you and you time it right, then you can punch him, and then you get a free follow-up. 
when you say free follow-up, do you mean like it's a pre-animated uh, attack, or is it like you have the chance to shoot as many times as you want until, while he's stunned? Um, I don't know. Like, I just got the game. No, I know, but you know, given that you're the one who's like, oh my god, this game is coming out, and you, you know, it's, it's like, hey, you know, do you know what they're promising here? I like but that you they're teaching what? you, yeah? Knowing that Sakamoto made this game, I wouldn't put it past them if it was all cinematic. Mm. Well, no, no, that was Team Ninja doing it, though, wasn't it? No, yeah, that was Sakamoto. Yeah. That was Sak. That was Sakamoto. Oops. Oh, they hit hard. Everything, everything about uh, other M was Sakamoto's design. It was it, it was completely his vision. Do you not remember all the oh, supplementals that we read? Oh yeah, I do remember those. Sakamoto says roundabout route. Yeah. Good roundabout route. So is that a pirate or is that a is that a, a human? I would assume that's a human. Hmm. Kind of hard to tell with the uh, angular helmet and all. Oh, I'm gonna hit pause for a second. Let's take a look at my menus here. What you got out there? The surface map. Looks okay. Grab a pin from the bottom of the screen. Drag it to the interest on the map. Oh. You have five oh, pins. Oh, would you look at that? No, I have eight. Seven. Huh. Neat. And you can color code, you can color match. Yeah, this is good. AM2R had the one, right? It just had the one, yeah. And it's like, you could place it, but then that was it. That was just the one. But now I have ten, and they're all different colors. Well, five That's of them good. are different colors. Remove them all. And they're all from different areas, did you see that? That means that you could pin... Mm. Did you see that it says you can pin from this area when you deleted them all? That means you can probably put 10 pins on every single map or every single sub uh, subworld. That's uh, that's impressive. I can't click any of those icons. Oh well. That's checkpoints. This is a checkpoint system. Alright, that's enough. Maybe when you die or something, or like this, you're going into a new screen and... Ah! It's a bat. It's a bat missing a lower jaw. Four. Doing so will automatically take aim, press X with your melee counter now. Blam! Ha! Get stuffed. Press X to use yep. your yeah, okay. Alright. So there you have it. Huh. Kinda hard to tell like what's breakable Oh there you go. Can you can you parry when you're not facing the enemy? Like can you can you like back parry him or something? I'll try. Oops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll blame that one on me. Okay, uh, no. I'll do the, same the answer is no. Yeah, you have to be facing the enemy. Otherwise, I guess it would be too easy to just be like, be constantly with your finger on the X when something is coming at you. Yeah, good shot. Oh, and you automatically aim at him too. That's that's really neat. I wonder if you get bonus health or something when you kill an enemy with a parry. Or when you parry someone. You know, as a reward for, like, Oops. using her melee. Because risky as hell to, like, be like, come at me, bro, and then you just stun in the face. Quite possibly. This is pretty. It is pretty. That's like a that's like a temple uh, or a power plant that's, like, you're going deeper into. A mining facility. Yeah, like, way, way at the beginning, way over there, just before we started coming into these catacombs, we saw a bunch of ruins. Mm -hmm. They look like Chozo ruins. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Pretty cool looking so far. I don't know. I think I like the open nature, natural aspect of AM2R's first zone better. But you know, different design, different choice of uh, what we're starting with here. This is just me showing off. So if I remember AM2R, oops. Can you pick? Can you attack while hanging? Like, can you, I mean, not attack. I mean, can you melee while hanging? Yeah, you can. Suck, fuck yeah. Samus is gonna <laughs> get some good hits on. What is this? Safe space? Ah, it's, something. it's a missile recharger. Ammo, okay. Anyway, um, as I was saying, if I remember AM2R, eventually I'll be given a diverging path, and the left path will be a save room. Already we have a little goodie waiting for us when we have the morph ball. Yeah, we don't have the morph ball. Probably a missile yet. expansion. Yeah. Oh, missile's right. 